I'm going to talk today about owning your space. And by owning your space, I mean owning your brand. I want to ask the question, who are you? I think of a brand as being a personality. And if you think of the personalities in this room here, each one of you represents a brand. And that's your own brand. We also represent the brands that you are hoping to grow, or that maybe it's already grown, maybe it's an, a, an internationally known brand. Well, that said, that brand has an impression when people meet that brand. Like, you're looking and listening to me today and thinking, is he worth listening to? Hopefully, yes. Um, do I want to go to the bathroom? Is he boring? Is he exciting? Has he got something interesting to tell me? And that is exactly the same feelings that people get when they first meet your brand. So who are you? I believe the strongest brands differentiate themselves. And that means that you don't just talk about your industry. You talk about yourself within your industry in a way that makes people go, oh, that's different. Differentiate. Many industries um, go about marketing themselves like for like. And what I mean by like for like is, if you're, say, in the financial services industry, which I actually happen to do a lot of work for, you find that most of those uh, financial service industries have the similar, similar, if not identical products, offering the same prices. So how do you make yourself stand out? Well, I believe that it's all about finding the uniqueness. One of my uh, many accounts that I worked on was a, a company in Columbia, Missouri, and it was the, an amalgamation of three or four banks and they wanted to, to brand themselves. Um, the ultimate name of the bank was, they were called Landmark Bank, and they came to me and said, you know, we want, we want to own the market in the northern Missouri area, we want to be the best bank here and the best bank there. So I said, well, tell me a little bit about what you do. So they said, well, we, um, we have um, online checking, because it was at a time when online, on, online banking was just coming in, and I said, well, your competition have, has online banking. We have the best customer service in the world, and it's like, well, that's kind of a price, for, price of entry. Every other bank will say that. They went through a shopping list of things that, that told me that all they were basically selling was the generic industry, not themselves. So I said, well, for me, as your brand guy, the exciting thing is embedded in your name is a point of difference. Think of it. You're called Landmark Bank. I said, so what if you think about your industry as a series of landmarks through people's lives, you have a child. It has banking implications. Kids going to college, retirement, estate planning. If you think about everybody's life as a landmark moment, you can own that. So we created a campaign which was landmark moments, and they were immediately able to talk about the generic nature of their business, but own it through um, the, the, their actual name. So your brand should reflect the needs of your desired target audience. This is a, this is a key one. All too often when you look at branded materials, marketing materials, advertising, in any form, um, it's about themselves, it's about yourself. I see lots of materials that are written and driven by, I just got to tell the world what I do. And I'm going to tell it as loud as often and say it as many times as I can. And that can lead to very inwardly directed marketing that doesn't necessarily engage people. The best dialogues are when you know a little bit about who you're talking to, um, it's amazing when you, 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 have, in, you have insights into your customers, um, it, can, it can have a massive impact. What information do I have about them is going to make them stop and think, not who am I and what do I do. Not to say that you ignore who am I and what do I do, but that comes later. Single-mindedness. Ah, single-mindedness. Marketing materials tend to be a clearinghouse for all the things you want to ever say about your business. And I, I, I'm going to challenge you there. I want, you to, I want anybody who can who's got a spare piece of paper to roll it up into a ball very quickly. Everybody. Experiment time. Marketing mess, oh, what a mess I made here. Sorry for the next speaker. Um, what I'm trying to say is that single-mindedness is the, the ability to look at your brand and take one message and throw it really well so I, the viewer, can catch it. All too often, 
marketers tend to do this. They tend to throw eight balls at once at the consumer and expect them to grab one. And what happens is, because you don't give any message equal weight, those balls are thrown at you, and, you, and just like me, you'll probably only catch one of them, which may not necessarily be the one ball you want them to go. You want to tell us we have a quality product. I hate the word quality, by the way, but there you go. Quality product, but you really, re you, you really want them to talk about being open 24-7. It's more about say one thing really well and people will remember it, rather than saying everything which people haven't got the time to even care to look at. Do you have any stories that dimensionalize it? And the receptionist said, well, we had a very strange call yesterday. It was from a woman who said, could you come over and bury my dog? I went, wow, that's, that's a story. She said, she said, no, 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 you've been my landscape company for 25 years, and I could not think of anybody better to come and help me bury the dog in the backyard uh, as, a, as an homage to how wonderful this dog has, has been. So I said, well, that's kind of an interesting story. So she said, we sent out two guys, and it was like permafrost weather. It took them an hour and a half to dig a, a, a hole deep enough. And the woman walked out with this dog wrapped in a blanket, and she placed it in the hole. They covered it up, and the guys stood around with her, and they said a prayer. She said, the guys came back, and they were crying. So I said, wow. I said, that story, however macabre, Dim dimensionalizes why you are different and what, what spirit lies behind your company rather than talking about we do fantastic fountains, which is kind of what all your competition's doing. Every industry, every business, you all have stories to tell. So it's finding those stories and telling them in, in whether it's a, a, a tagline at the end of a piece of copy or a, a long video that you put on your website. Stories engage people. People remember stories. Insightful messages. There, there are human truths behind everything, everything we, we do. If I say now to, you, to everybody here, oh my god, where's my cell phone? I know that at least half of you are instinctively going to go, oh yeah, where's my cell phone? That's a human truth that if I am in the right business and, and recognize that human truth, as being a vehicle to get, engage people and make people go, oh yeah, I do that. Those are very, very powerful tools. Human insights are very insightful. Insightful messages can be powerful tools. Consistency. How many of you have marketing materials that have 18 fonts spread through the... the <laughs> that all adds to confusion. So get rid, of, get rid of that. I love this quote. This is the ultimate branding quote. Be yourself, everyone else is taken. We spend way too much time trying to be our competition or trying to be generic to our industry when we should be spending time differentiating ourselves and being the brand we were always supposed to be. Surround them with your brand. I mean, there's, there's no such thing as I can't afford it. I know that with guerrilla marketing, you can do things to interrupt people. And then hire Brandstorm to help you with all of the above. That's the most important one. In fact, you can forget all the other nine and just write that one there. <clears throat> Write that number down. Yes, that is a Missouri number. I can help you quickly get to the root of what your brand is all about. And if you like what I say, maybe we can talk further. So thank you. That's me.